Hey folks, Jim Fuller here. And as you all know, we had another uh, mass murder down in Florida. And, uh, and again, as usual, the politicians are blaming this thing here. Um, I got my little AR-15 here today and my little M4 carbine actually in solidarity with my uh, brothers who are all getting blamed for this right now, even though they didn't do it, even though the gun that was used didn't do it, it was the human that was pressing the trigger. You know, I don't care whether it's this. I mean, yeah, this will kill you. In the hands of a good person, it can save your life. But in the hands of a bad person, it can kill you. But you're no more dead with this than you are with this. Or this 38 revolver. Or even this little simple 1022. It's not the gun, folks. It's the warped human beings that are twisted by political correctness, by the ways of the world today, uh, no parental guidance, no ethics, no morals, um, never having to pay a price for anything they do wrong. We've created an entire lost generation of people that are running around doing things like this, and you politicians want to blame the gun. You know, we have banks with armed security. We have jewelry stores with armed security. Uh, my kids tell me that even the weed dispensaries have armed security. Why do we not have armed security in a school? If that school, there was a security officer there who was unarmed. I think he died because he was trying to suck up bullets to protect the kids. If he had a gun, that might not have been that way. But again, he wasn't allowed to because, well, you know, gun-free killing zones. Has anybody ever thought about the idea of, I mean, I've, I've heard it said before, but I'm going to bring it up again. You know, we got a lot of combat veterans in this country, a lot of them looking for work. A lot of them pretty squared away guys with a lot of good skills. You put a couple of those guys at every school in this country, you're not only going to put good men back to work, but you're not going to have this stuff anymore. 19-year-old little Johnny who's got a hair up his ass about something and decides he wants to go shoot up the school is not going to do it if he thinks he's going to get his head canoed by a skilled veteran security man. And that person who is skilled could take this 1022 and do the job just fine because he's the professional. It's not the gun. It's the human. We got to get this shit right, folks, because it's not right right now. And it's only going to get worse. We have created a situation where this stuff is allowed to go on and nobody can seem to pick up on this. All they can want to do is take more control, pass more laws. Well, guess what? The laws you got in place didn't do a bit of good, and all the laws they're talking about passing out wouldn't have stopped this. It always comes down to the same thing. Politicians have their agenda, and people don't pay attention to reality. Reality almost always, every time, trumps emotional speculation, and that's all this is right now, is pure emotional speculation. Wake up, folks. I'm done. I don't know what else to say.